Hi guys, welcome back to Dr. Donovan Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to spot and manage head lice. Now, head lice and nits are very common in young children and their families. They don't have anything to do with dirty hair and they're picked up by head-to-head -head contact. Head lice can make your child's hair feel itchy or they can describe that something feels like it's moving around in their hair. So if you or your child are experiencing these symptoms, how do you check if it is head lice? Well, head lice are small insects that are up to three millimeters long, so they're quite hard to see with the naked eye. Because they're so small, they can be difficult to spot. Head lice eggs, which are known as nits, are brown or white empty shells that are attached to the hair. The only way to be sure that someone has head lice is by finding live lice. And you can do this by combing wet hair with a special fine toothed comb, which is known as a detection comb. You can buy these online or they are available at most major pharmacies. Usually you should just wash the hair with ordinary shampoo and then apply lots of conditioner and any conditioner will do. You should then comb the whole head of hair from the roots to the ends of the hair. It usually takes about 10 minutes to comb short hair and about 20 to 30 minutes for longer frizzy or curly hair. You should do the wet combing on days one, five, nine and 13 to catch any newly hatched head lice. And then you should check this again on day 17 to make sure that everyone's hair is free of head lice. If this method doesn't work, then there are medicated lotions and sprays and you can ask a pharmacist for advice on these. But if the child still does have live head lice, they might recommend using things like medicated lotions and sprays. And essentially these kill the head lice in all types of hair and you can buy them from the pharmacy or online or at supermarkets. Typically when you use these, head lice should die within a day. Some lotions and sprays come with a comb to remove the dead lice and eggs. And some treatments may need to be repeated after a week to kill any newly hatched lice. You should check the pack to see if it's okay for your child and how to use them. There will be specific instructions on the pack. And if lotions or sprays don't work, then speak to a pharmacist about other treatments. It's important to know that you can treat head lice without seeing a GP or a doctor. It's important to treat head lice as soon as you spot them. There's no need to keep the child off school if they've got head lice. I hope you found the video helpful, useful and informative. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like it and hit the subscribe button for new medical education videos, which I release every Wednesday and every Sunday. If you've got any questions, comments or queries, please just leave them in the comments box below and I'll be sure to get back to you and try help if I can. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.